Hello, Brother Minru here. Welcome back to Avorian. And, well, I've done a little bit of work off camera. Um, the main thing I've done... So this is the sector that I was kind of using as a bouncing off point. And what I've done is I've uh, sent Millie the Scout, or Millie, sorry, Millie the Explorer off this way. Um, and we have... So we're right at the edge of the Shumaku, um, who are now our allies... Um, the, this faction over here. Um, we're right at the edge of their territory and we found another faction which is this one, the Kingdom of Uppens, which kind of stretches up this way and there is a subspace rift that goes round like this. Um, I've been doing some mining, I've been doing some exploring and stuff like that, but the first thing we need to do is we're going to head over to Millie the Explorer because she has had some upgrades. I haven't done too much else. It's just been gathering resources and um, figuring out what's out there and figuring out next steps and stuff like that. So it's all been kind of busy work. Although the AI has been kind of annoying and jumping on me repeatedly. Uh, so you can see we've got loads of resources. This is not me cheating. This is... Uh, Partly passive income from mines, um, but as well the the mine salvage orders and trading orders are making me a lot of money. Uh, for instance, here Millie the Salvager coming in with you know nearly ten thousand neonite, a bunch of other stuff, uh, and Millie the Trader making you know three million ago. You know they're 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 doing quite well. Uh, but I'm going to send Millie the Explorer through this gate, I think, to this system here, and then we're going to start going to start exploring out this way and see if we can get into the Trinium region today. That's that's my plan. Maybe not this episode, but uh, this stream because I am recording this live on Twitch. Uh, that is the plan. Although it's very quiet on Twitch today, it's a weird one. Uh, there are a couple of people in the chat though. Um, right, we need the East Gates. Yeah, this one. The Eroas Commonwealth. Okay, so we've got a brand new faction that we're going to have to deal with. Merely the trader is under attack. That is not good. Where is she? There. Shite. Um, right. The Millie. Uh, jump out there as quick as you can. Uh, and we'll go and deal with that in a second. Uh, the Millie will take a while. Millie the trader is pretty chunky ship, so should be okay. That was a bad roll. Very unlucky. <laughs> oh, it's fine, Desirats. Don't worry about it. It's uh, Twi Twitch has been a bit weird of late. Anyway, it's pretty quiet time on Twitch as it is. Basically a graveyard shift, but uh, it's when I'm able to stream, so <laughs> that's when I'm on. Hey there, Toby. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with the notifications today. Um, like, uh, but I have I've not been on for long. Not been on for long very much. Uh, did it go out on the Discord? It did go out on the Discord. Awesome. Right. Uh, we've made it across here. That's fine. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put Miller the Explorer on a scout order. We'll have a look at this little finger here means that she'll disappear. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to jump on board the Millie, which is heading out to defend our trader. <laughs> How late in the game am I? So I've made it to the Neonite region. Uh, so I'm, I'm here. I'm in the third sector in. So I'm about halfway to the center, although nowhere near halfway through the game. Um, it's pretty much where I am right now. Uh, yes, I <laughs> I did not make Millie the Explorer, who's using the SSV Normandy SR1 model. Um, I downloaded it off the workshop. I cannot make things that look this good, <laughs> or even close to looking this good. Uh, so no, it's... Uh, 
Oh, Melody Trainer actually finished. Okay. Uh, one thing she can do then is she can jump to a friendly sector if she can. Because we're going to have to do another jump before we can get to her. Annoyance of uh, massively increased jump times. Hey, well, Pink Order's actually done a pretty good job um, as a bot. The other one I was using, uh, what the hell is it called? Um, Liveco. Uh, that was just a, just really didn't put out <laughs> notifications nearly often enough. So yeah, Pink Order seems to do all right. But it was actually Twitch. So Pink Order sends. A notification out when Twitch sends the notification, and Twitch was is being funny today. I don't do not know what's wrong with it. So I'm dropping, I was dropping a whole bunch of frames at the beginning of the stream. Bit rate was low. Um, wasn't sending the live notification. All sorts of problems. Right, we're about fifty seconds, and then we'll be able to jump in and uh, help Millie the trader. I've had this happen a couple of times, but uh, that that is annoying. It's it's only about a it's only about a ten percent chance that uh, Millie the trader had to get uh, attacked. She actually being attacked now. Yeah, she is. We've got lots of hit points, so should keep going for a while until we can get there. Uh, other thing I've done on uh, the Millie here is on the front. There are now three salvaging lasers, which boosts our firepower a little bit, but it also means we can do a little bit of salvaging on enemy ships that we blow up, um, which is quite nice. Right, three, two, one, and there we go. <laughs> and we're in system, right. Let's find those bastards. Yeah, Millie the trade is fine. I think her shield's still up. Can't tell. She's loading up her... Uh, she's still spooling up the hyperdrive, though. I've noticed quite a lot with the new order system. Your ships will tend to finish their order in a really random system. And uh, I think Millie the trader actually got ambushed after her trade mission ended. Like, trade mission ended... And she popped into this system for some reason. Yeah, shields are down, but she's got a chunk, pretty chunky hull. And we're fine. Right. Let's uh, salvage these wrecks. <laughs> yeah, it took very little damage. I'll uh, get her to jump into an inhabited system and then we'll uh, fix her up properly. There we go. Shields back online. Ah, salvaging though, definitely a good one. This is ship, I think, I'm pretty sure in saying, has a mixture of the two types of laser. Yeah, I've got purifying and an R. Um, so, just just because they were the best lasers I could get. Yeah, you got to. Um, you're better than me, then, Toby. Um, I, I find designing my own ships really difficult. So what I tend to do is I download a workshop design, uh, and then I will modify it to suit. Um, adding turret bases or changing the generators around and adding more shields or less of something or whatever it happens to be but uh, that tends to be how, how I go about it <laughs> they'll say you as a kid just prefer that you made it yeah that's, I can see that My, mine just looks so hideous <laughs> when I do it that's my problem I don't like. I, I I like the idea of like, um, because in my head, what I'm basically doing is buying a, uh, buying a ship, 
and then customizing it. Like that's kind of what's going on in my head. Um, I I do like that. So I always like fiddle around with the designs a bit. For instance, for this one, uh, the Millie is a little bit larger than she was originally. So I've increased it up to the six slot maximum. I put the turrets on and like the custom turrets and the symbol and the name and things like that. But uh, otherwise, it's, it's a and I think I've messed around with the internals, so this ship didn't come with shield generators, it now has shields, things like that. Alright, now then, Ilya the Trader. Uh, what can we only do today? I haven't tried out the procure command. The sell command is genius, though. Uh, so basically, you can load up a cargo ship with all the loot that you pick up from various things and then just go, you know what? Can you just uh, go and sell that for me? Love that. Right. Trade teleporters. Ooh. Yep. Off you go. Brilliant. Yeah, broken up most of those ships. So, what I'm hoping is we'll find over here something interesting. Yeah, here we go. Equipment dock. That is useful. Right, can you go to that system? This is merely the explorer I'm talking to. Because there's a gate this way. And that's another faction, the Corporation of Zufu. Because I kind of want to get into yeah this quadrant here. Try and find the Great Barrier and Trinium and Xanion and stuff like that. So you're going to have to make a couple jumps to do that, annoyingly. But uh, yeah, go ahead and do that. And uh, we're going to move the melee over here and we're going to investigate this, uh, this equipment dock over here. Uh, once we've finished uh, gobbling up all these wrecks. Uh, a, a replay from the start on version 2, I highly recommend. That's exactly what I've been doing. Um, it's very different. Like The progression is different as well. You can't just build a, a mega ship right off the bat. Um, like You're limited by how many subsystem slots you can get and stuff like that. Um, it's, uh, it's good. I'm, I'm really enjoying the, uh, the changes they made. Do a bit of manual salvaging. Speed this up a bit. Just interested to see what's in this block. If there's anything good, probably not. Nah. It all looks a bit pedestrian. Sometimes there's good stuff though. Oops, gotten too close. There's 3D effects for you. This block is uh, taking a surprising amount to scrap. That's nothing particularly interesting. Right. Was there one more wreckage left? Yeah, there was. Let's go have a look at this one. Might be something interesting in there. Never know your luck. Get moving. Uh, so I'm going to jump to. Uh, I'm going to issue the orders like this. Actually, going to jump to this system here, and then go like this, please. Lovely. Right now, let's uh, swap over to Millie the Explorer. Hey, private pushing. Hey, doing? Your sleep schedule is so broken. Yeah. 
<laughs> Don't blame me. So this ship, again, workshop ship, but uh, modified, and again, modified from the last time I showed it. It's been enlarged, so it's a six slot scout, and I've turned all of the kind of external hull plates into armor, just to make the ship a little bit tougher, because this thing does tend to run into issues. But uh, it's, it's decent. I think I need to... Uh, Ah, uh, okay, so there's an unknown energy signature right here. So let's use the uh, jump engines to do that. And then we'll see if that has a gate. Hopefully it does. And away we go. Oof. My problem is I, I would sleep. 12, 14 hours a day if I could um, but it's, it's hard to actually manage that at the moment right, looks like we have a gate going up this way which probably goes to this this system up here and we have another section of rift now, I don't think that can be the great rift it's too close but we are getting into a very kind of rifty area which is unpleasant, right, north gate North gate. Zotan jumping in all sorts. We'll uh, avoid them, seeing as we're in a fragile scout ship. This thing can go ridiculously fast as well, if you want it to. Or uh, Did I not fit the um, velocity control bypass on this? No, I didn't. Yeah, that's uh, the ship from Mass Effect 1. Absolutely. Oh, and thank you very much for the bits. <laughs> it's been up against 10 o'clock yesterday. 10 a.m. yesterday, so you've been up for 20, 20, 26 hours or something. Yikes. No, thank you. Yes, there are gates that go across the gap. That is what I was hoping for. Could pretty much take either of them. Let's go for the northeast one. Yeah, so this is the Normandy SR1. Um, probably will add another scouting ship at some point. And then I'll use the SR2 model, so we can have the SR1 and the SR2 flying around. Which I, I think that'd be quite cool. I think that'd be nice. <laughs> Ooh, valuable object detected and a research base. Valuable object. Where might that be hiding? Over in this asteroid belt? Now, I'm pretty sure this ship has, yeah, an exceptional Universal Adventuring Companion, which is a mod, by the way, but it's one that I really like. So we've got a wreckage, um, that's wreckage detect. What about object detect? Ten. Well, it detects it in the whole sector, but it'll highlight anything if I get within ten kilometers of it. So we might get lucky. There might be a mine or something out here. Now, this ship does not have a trading system on it, which is one thing it might be nice to get. But, because uh, it could just be a secret, oops, could just be a secret stash or something. Which isn't that interesting. There we go. Picked it up. Jesus. <laughs> Hello. That is Trinium. Oh, now. That is good. Now, Millie the Miner is currently busy, but now that we know we've got Trinium, that is the good stuff. It was indeed a secret sash, with a fierce double anti-fighter cannon, exceptional, and a bunch of money. Alright. But uh, I was hoping for an asteroid. Never mind. That's good enough. And it looks like we don't have to worry about... 
I think we're beyond this subspace rift. So this is a very good place for you to start scouting. Like so. Off you go. Boom. Now then. Um, how long is the mining order for Millie the Miner at the moment? She's got about 20 minutes left. Okay, that's fine. And I do have Nayanite mining lasers, so it's all good. All right, let's go and get the Millie, who should be traveling along. Trinium's big. Trinium, Trinium's probably the the kind of material you want the most of. It's really, really handy. Like, lightweight, strong, can build pretty much all the blocks out of it. Um, it's just good stuff. Until you get a Vorian, of course. But uh, a Vorian is uh, top tier stuff. And the best material you can get. So, um, Oconite is, is pretty much only useful for armor. Um, Zanian is like Neonite, but better. It does let you build some cool blocks as well. I think that's the one that lets you build the transporter blocks and the cloning blocks and things like that. Let's how we get on. What's our firepower at the moment? 3,000 Omicron. It's not terrible. Got loads of extra crew if we need it. Or well, we, we can get extra crew. As you can see, I've been fighting the AI a fair bit. <laughs> Keep showing up when I get those um, your, your ship is under attack notifications like I did right at the start of the video. Which is really irritating. So I'll go through here, we'll jump over to this system over here. Yeah, this is all the corporation territory over here. Interesting. Let's see if we can pick up a faction map as well. Uh, they're only neutral with me though. Bitch. Mm. Eh, they don't hate me. Slightly negative. Corporation don't like me very much though. We can we can change that. Uh, the Uppons do quite like me. You've got good relations with them. Uh, they don't seem horrible though. The peace, peace, peaceful sieves, peaceful and generous. That's quite useful. Yeah, none of them are particularly nasty ones. You just hate you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, thanks for the congratulations there, Alaric. Yeah, well, I haven't mined any Trinium yet. Um, so now that we've found Trinium, we need to mine it. Once we've mined it, we need to unlock the knowledge for it. And that means going and blowing up some pirates in the Trinium sector. In a Trinium sector somewhere. But I think... Once I mine the Trinium, I'll get a quest, and then I'll be able to work out where I need to go to get... to do that. Yeah, because unlocking uh, Trinium is going to be... That's going to be huge. We can really build some nice ships with the Trinium. I mean, hell, even just swapping out everything on my current ships for Trinium will give them an enormous boost. Right, we have arrived. Um, first thing I'm going to do is head over to the equipment dock. Where are you? There. There in front of the resource depot, I think. Yeah. All these things are pretty quiet. Got some more uh, 
Loot. Deal with that in a second. Trade equipment. What will you sell me? Uh, you'll sell me an Explorer's Quadrant Map. We'll pick that up. Uh, subsystems. What have you got? Tractor Beam. Yeah, you won't sell me those. Uh, Oh, cargo ex oh, no, that's a that's a absolute one. That's generally terrible. Mm. Yeah, nothing too cool. Ooh, trinium kit. Nice. Uh neonite lay mining laser. Really what I would want is Trinium mining laser, but of course they don't have that. It's <laughs> uh, a lot of trash items. Right, well that that was entirely uninspiring. Let's see if we picked up anything interesting on the map. Oh yeah, I need to actually use the damn thing, don't I? Uh, just one ship right over yield. See, look at that, ten thousand neonite, just brilliant stuff. go. Oh, shoot. There was a thing I meant to do. <laughs> Must be used in my allies' territory. I completely forgot about that. I will do that uh, when we go over to Millie the Miner or something. Because um, I, I need to use this to buy one of the rare artifacts. So I've got this for the Shum Shumuaku. Um, I should have I was meant to do that right at the start of the episode and I completely forgot about it. Because of course I did. Uh, yeah, then what else have we got? Turret factory. Yeah, nothing else particularly interesting. What I am going to do though is I'm just going to dump the ores that I do have. I could just use the autopilot for that. Now then. Um, yeah, so I'll use uh, one of these guys. I'll get them to jump back over here. Use the beacon, buy the cool stuff, and then uh, <laughs> head on. And then basically I'm going to move the entire operation up here. That's the plan. Yeah, getting your reputation with factions up. Yeah, that does take a long time. I found there's a few ways to do it that's a bit more effective now. One is you can... Uh, what the hell is the ship doing? Surely you're out of the thing now. Just come to a stop, will you? Um, one of the things you can do is you can uh, you can use your trading ship and you trade in a new area and you will get some increased relations from that I think or at least it seems to work a little bit because um, your ship is buying and selling uh, the other one is to find an asteroid and either sell it uh, to a faction, that's a pretty good way of getting your rep up. But as well, if you build a mm, melee, the explorers under, under attack. Shit! Get out! I have to swap over to her manually. Uh. Again, this ship is not undefended, but uh, I have no particular desire to mess with anyone. Get out of the range of that tool. There's a long range things, whatever they're using. Just like it.
are able to do some damage to them, but uh, it's a lot more firepower than I'm comfortable dealing with. Still though, 500 seconds is fucking forever to get the hyperspace back up. So I'm going to need the melee to uh, get over here. Why is it not giving me the fucking jump range? Right. Shit. Might be able to get the melee out here. Shit. If I'm not paying attention, run away. But this probably means the scout ship's going to get blown up. Which is bad. But uh, not the end of the world. Fucking missiles and shit. They've got and shields and yeah all all the things new no. again they don't have huge amount of omicron 300 or something but it's enough ow the torpedoes hurt and that's me lost my turrets shit yeah the scout is very very dead right the melee don't bother I need a repair dock. Where's the nearest one? No, it's one right there. So, remove that last command. That is annoying. F. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, the you know, Millie the Explorer is not meant to deal with that kind of thing gonna have to uh, go and get her out get a toad oh no because I was flying it I can just do it straight away that's fine but it will put me back here but I, I don't mind that so much uh, I'm gonna start I'm gonna move the melee up here I'm gonna move the repair dock to up here if I can um, but seeing as I'm here <laughs> let's get the ship actually fixed uh, and let us also, I did say that I was meaning to do it, use, where is that trade guild beacon thing? This. Merchant guild. Mobile merchant. Talk. What have you got? You've got the hyperspace interrupt, which I'm going to pick up just so I don't forget, because I will be able to eat it. Must be close to the ship. Right. Where is he? 70 clicks away. Come on. Couldn't have summoned yourself next to me. <laughs> yeah, F. Yeah, this ship is really not. I mean, it can take a hit, but uh, yeah, it's a little bit out of its depth up there. But I'm doing the best I can with it. It's alright. As soon as we get some trinium, we can uh, we can get the upgrades on the go. Again, just, just a bit of bad luck. I actually think it finished its uh, scout order. Yeah, it did. And it was just sitting in a sector um, and got pinged. Right. Like it finished, jumped into a sector and then it was immediately, just happened to jump into a pirate sector. So... Right, pick that up. Uh, all the rest of that's fine. Turrets, do you have anything interesting? That's not bad. Uh, that's not quite what I'm after, though. What I'm after is this. The XSTNK-4. This one gives you 10 unarmed turret slots and 6 uh, auto turret slots. It's another one of the Zotan artifacts, and you can only get it 
by doing it like so. Oh, pick that up. A couple of exceptional object detectors, yes please. Some good turret control systems. Hmm, lovely. And now we've got the research station mission, which is uh, another one of the artifacts that we can get picked up. Right. Uh, the Millie. Uh, I want you to... Uh, sorry, Millie the Explorer. I just want you to travel here. Zero percent. Okay. Lovely. Now then. Uh, the Millie is still going. Swap over to her. Which system is she in? This one? Yeah, Trinium Armor will help. Um, is it the East Gate I want? Yeah, East, East Gate. It's rather waiting for the um, jump engines. Yeah, Trinium Armor will help. So will tri Trinium Shield Generators. Um, and all the rest of it. Also, when I get access to some better weapons and and things like that, yeah. And then it'll be fine. It's just, it's just that you know, move to about one block over. Just not quite cut out for it. And of course, the Millie was too far away to jump in to help, which is what I've been doing before. Uh, right, north gate. But uh, I have unlocked the uh, tier 4 Trinium quest. So I must be far enough into the galaxy. Which is good. Yeah, just not quite able to uh, take on a pirate raid like that. Or pirate ambush, I suppose. Of course, once we unlock Tritium, we can start looking into carrier operations, which will require a radical redesign of the ship, uh, but could be very interesting. Right, northeast gate. Because uh, I haven't tried out carriers in the new update at all. I know there were big, big changes to how all that worked. Good changes, in my opinion. So, like, your pilots now don't actually fly the fighters. They basically sit inside your ship and um, you control the drones, basically. Um, which I think is pretty cool. I unlocked the tier 5 Zanian quest. Really, Hardmore? <laughs> well, if we can get Trinium and Zanian, I maybe went a bit bit far then. Really? Can I look at that? Uh, missions. Oh, jeez. I did. It still says fly close to the center of the galaxy. But uh, I must have seen some Zanian at some point and missed it. Right, let's uh, head through the north gates. Ah, okay. Well, Millie the Explorer was way up here. So this must be the start of the Zanian region, which makes sense. I reckon the Great Barrier is around here somewhere. But yeah, if we can, uh, if we can get Trinium and Zanian on the go today. That would be awesome. Yeah, <laughs> they were probably Trinium ships uh, with maybe like a little bit of Zanian around. Um, you tend not to see full Zanian ships because um, it's not always the best block to use. Often Trinium's better. Um, same with the current bit where you want like titanium and neonite mixed um, but yeah it's uh, decent right 
we want to head to the repair dock, first of all. Okay, Million Miner has finished mining. That is good. Uh, I'm going to get her to travel up here. It will take her a while. But that will help. I do like that new travel command as well. Um, we basically disappear off map and then come back rather than having to manually be like, oh, jump here, do, do here, do this, do that. And uh, we'll just have to do some exploring the old fashioned way with the Millie. Uh, she was pretty handy uh, in the uh, kind of Neonite region. So we might have a little bit of a challenge. Should be okay. Oh, come on, Doc. Oh, I'm a little bit too low, aren't I? There we go. Track to me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, strongest for the weight. Um, absolutely. Trinium is fantastic stuff. Organite armor is, strictly speaking, better. Um, and Avorian is just basically you know, a straight upgrade to Trinium. Right. Uh, repair dock. Will you let me move my reconstruction site here? No, because you don't like me enough yet. That's fine. Can live with that. What I'm hoping is there's a few sectors here that could potentially be promising and have like a mine or something in them. It's just going to take a while to. Uh, actually, that one has a gate. I'm going to prioritize doing the gated one, so let's try the east gate. Because. Uh, Oops. Because the the gate systems, I don't have to charge up my hyperdrive to use that. <laughs> Ognite ramming ships. Yeah, they are funny. <laughs> but uh, also important. So late game when enemies might have rail guns and the like, you kind of want to have some armor. And Organite armor is superior to Avorian armor and all other kinds of armor, I suppose. But it's pretty handy stuff. And here we go. Hydrate. Thanks very much. Now then, not what I was hoping to find, but not terrible either. Let's try this system here. If you're wondering what I'm looking for, uh, what I'm mainly looking for is, ooh, Millie the Salvager finished. A whole pile of stuff as well. Right. Um, I want you to travel up here as well, please. It'll take them a while to do it, but it's fine. <laughs> Taking a long time to calculate this jump route. There we go. Yeah, what I'm looking for is a mine. Um, that will let me just start to tick up relations a little bit. 
and make some money in the meantime. Nope. Uh, scrapyard? Yeah, scrapyard. Okay. Uh, other interesting systems all down here. Uh, one thing, I, I could send the Milly on a scout order, of course. Uh, should we out for 15 minutes, though? Eh, go for it. It's probably going to be quicker. Um, of course, that means I don't have a ship to fly. Because <laughs> um, everyone is traveling. But uh, what I'll do is I'll end the YouTube episode here. And I'll come back when uh, we have some ships back. <laughs> I'll see you again soon for some more of Orion. Bye-bye.